Hey there folks, welcome to our first Little Knights Kickstarter preview. Today we're doing a game called A Dog's Life. And this is by the designer Christoph Boulanger, who also did Archipelago, which is one of my all-time favorite games. I love Archipelago. Uh, and he's done some other great games like, uh, I think, Dungeon Twister and those type of things. Um, right, so, as this is a Little Knights video, I have with me Alex. Hey, Alex. Hi. And Nathan. <laughs> and Carla. Hey, Carla. Right, so I'm going to go over a quick overview of this um, Kickstarter preview prototype. So this is a prototype, but it's such a good prototype, it must be really close to um, the full full game and what it's, what it's going to look like. I'm going to give you a basic overview of the rules, and uh, then we'll play through a couple of turns, and then play a couple of turns live so you can see it, and then come back at the end to just tell you who won. Right, so each player will get one character of their choice. There's six characters in the box, so I'm playing Romeo. Who are you playing, Carla? I'm playing Bella. Bella, who are you playing, Nathan? Buddy. Buddy. And you, Alex? Max. Max. We each, we each have different dogs. So, for example, I'm playing Romeo the Boxer. So, I'm just going to flip this over so you can see. So, I have eight action points, and I'll get back to that in a second. I have two spots in my mouth to hold something. I have two bladder sections, and I have four hunger sections. Each character also has a deck of cards, which I will explain in a second. And then there's a deck of cards as well, which is randomly dished out. This is your starting point. So... I was randomly dished out your home, your home, the cir circus, which is over there. And Carla's starting in this lumberyard type thing. Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan is starting. Where are you starting, Nathan? The fun, the park. The park. And you, Alex? Um, Camping some, side. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, um, the game starts uh, on your turn. The first thing you do is... You have to take your hunger meter and move it up. When you're at four, it's basically you're full. When you're at zero, you're ravenous and really, really hungry and will pass out. So when it moves to three, that's the first thing you do on your turn. Then you have your action points. So Romeo, for example, has eight action points. And I'm just going to get him into shot so you can see where he is. He's over here at the circus. Then there's various things I can do. This is what they call, this phase is called the doggy actions. No, it's called dog stuff. Dog stuff. <laughs> so, for example, moving in in the little squares or the little areas that's one point of move action so moving there would be one action this green paw here shows I'm pointing towards the burger restaurant if I wanted to I could beg at the restaurant for an action or I could move over here actually I made a mistake there the green is not burging at the restaurant the green is actually to deliver newspapers to this spot over here the red spot over here I'm gonna zoom in actually so you can see a bit because I'm not sure you can see that so the red paw, that's to beg at the restaurant. That's an action. I'll go back to the newspaper in a second. I can actually pee on this lamp. And if I do that, I take a, a piddle. I take a piddle from my um, uh, my um, bladder and I leave it there. That kind of acts as kind of a barrier. So if, say for instance, if Carla wanted to come past you, this would block her off. She would have to end her movement on that space and then basically replace her, my piddle with her piddle. Uh, so that, that's a bit weird, but it's, it's, it makes sense in the terms of the game. When you're trying to block someone off from going somewhere, you can piddle on a lamppost, and uh, that will stop them from going past that area. The other thing you can do, you see the little trash cans? You can search the trash cans. Um, now, just to explain, this is what the deck of cards comes in. So, for example, in this situation, if I wanted to search the trash can as my action, I flip over the, the deck of cards, and I look at trash can. So this says I found food in that trash can. There's two pieces of food, so I would move my hunger up to two spaces. But if I were, say, for instance, begging at the restaurant, I would have only got one piece of um, food. If I was doing a newspaper delivery, now over there is the newspaper. If I went there for an action onto one of the blue spaces and picked up a newspaper, I get one of these little newspaper icons, and I put that in my mouth spot like this. And then uh, the back of the newspaper will tell me, so for example, this newspaper has to be delivered to spot 12, which is, who can spot it boys? Where's spot 12? Um, come on, ah! who's going to find it? Ah. There, we, yeah, there we go. So that's spot 12. So if I come to this green spot here and deliver the newspaper, I would then flip over the card and it says I found a bone. 
And the bone is actually very important because that's how you win this game. The first one to find and deliver three bones at their um, ho home area. Not to deliver. It's and, bury. And bury. Bury. Fine. To go fetch a bone, bring it back and bury it in your home area. That's basically the first one to do three of those wins. So in this situation, if I delivered that newspaper to this little car shack and I flipped over this card, I would be successful and get a bone. But they could be different. I could like, for example, that one's a delivery, which is a bone. That one gave me meat. That one gave me meat. That little sad face means eh -eh, nothing happened and so on and so on. So they're all different. And that's how you complete your actions, your doggy actions. And there's loads you can do. You can go beg for food at the restaurants. You can get newspapers and deliver them to the respective areas. You can search the trash cans. You can fight other dogs for their stuff in their mouth. So if a dog has a bone, like for example, I find a bone there and Carla comes over and tries to fight me. We would flip over the card in a fight. I've got two fights and she might have flipped over, say, that one on her deck and got three. And she would beat me. So that's pretty much it. You do your eight actions and then it goes to the next player. But before you go to the next player, you get to move the dog catcher. So you roll a d6. So in this case, I rolled five and I get to move him one, two, three, four, five spaces. At, at the moment, he does nothing. But if he landed on Carla's space, he would capture her and you would put her into the dog shelter, which is all the way up here. The dog shelter is not so cruel to animals. They keep them nice and fed, so your hunger goes all the way up to the top again. And at the end of your turn, you flip over one card, as it says there. And if you get... Uh, mine's not very good at leaving the pound. <laughs> that one, then you leave the pound. And you can go back to the starting point over there. But if you don't, you move down one space, and you'll see at the end of your next turn, you flip over two cards. Of course, that's the symbol which shows you you don't get out but that one does uh, <laughs> that one does so if i flip over two cards and one of them has a, a get out of jail card then i'm good <laughs> but at the end of that turn if you don't you move down to there and then you get out automatically and you would come over there what's up alex um you forgot something what did i forget tell me okay so if the dog is next to the um dog catcher i can't reach sorry okay i'll move it closer um, you flip a card and you have a chance to get ca caught by the dog catcher. If it shows the dog catcher symbol, that means you've been caught. If it shows um, I'm, I'm showing the you dog catcher and your a dog is running away, that means you succeed and you're left alone. Uh, yeah, well, not left alone. It means that you ran away. Yeah, successful to escape yeah. the dog catcher. So the dog catcher is not going to be cruel to you, it just means you skip your turns and, uh, and slowing you down. The game is pretty fast, so you don't want the dog catcher to get you, because if he catches you, you're going to be stuck in the shelter for a couple of days, relaxing and sunbathing, and uh, you won't get a chance to get the bones you need. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, there's not a lot else to say. I've showed you the four dogs we are using. There's two other dogs we're not using, which is Daisy and Charlie, a Fox Terrier and a Whippet. Uh, the, dog has, the game's got some great artwork. And uh, I think that's it. Is there anything else I've forgotten, boys? Mm, no. Nathan, do you think of anything? No. Okay. Well, I've got something to say about that. Each cat, um, each dog has slightly different um, oh, yes, the attributes. Decks. So everybody isn't exactly the same. For instance, Bella has a se um, action points of seven. Daisy over there actually has action nine action points. Um, that it varies and that's not the only thing they kind of give you a little bit of a I guess an overview of what your character your dog's character is and what its strong points are to guide you as to how you should progress and and try and play the game so for instance Bella um, character it says uh, Bella says I am the creme de la creme dog of the town always perfectly trimmed and clean I would never touch a trash can I can do several funny tricks and will often get big helping of taste, tasty food at a restaurant. I am a nice lady and that doesn't like, um, I'm a nice lady that doesn't like to fight or run fast. Other dogs know this and attack me to take my bones. <laughs> so it gives you a, a basic guide. I know from that that 
I'm probably not going to be very successful when I dig in trash cans and I should probably stay away from fights but restaurants are quite good, um, quite beneficial for me now that isn't to say that I won't get anything out of a trash can it just means on average I have low probability of getting good stuff all the time so um, it's quite a nice little guide um, it kind of steers you towards playing in a particular way but it doesn't limit you to playing in that particular we all have fashion. our own ones what's your ones good at Nathan um, I'm good at fighting, but I don't like it. That's right. And you're good at fetching newspapers as well, aren't you? How about you, Alex? What are you good at? I'm good at fighting and, um, shouting in restaurants. I'm okay at, um, newspapering thing. And you're quite good at fighting as well. Yeah. You said that. And, um, The I'm, shelter likes you. And I own, the sh yeah, I get, I get out of the shelter quite quickly. Um, so you're quite a solid dog, a good mm. solid all-round um, dog. Most of the time... No, don't cheat. Turn it around. Um, <laughs> Shuffle it up again. I, um, I get away from the dog catcher and um, um, I'm not good at trash searching trash cans. I am really good at fighting. I'm also um, decent at finding stuff in the trash can, but I'm rubbish at getting things from the restaurants, as apparently I'm not that very pretty. Oh, isn't that funny? <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start this game. We'll play a couple of rounds, and then we'll come back to you with a video where we show you how to play and how the game flows and etc. etc. So we'll be back. Okay, so this is the gameplay turn. Um, we've had a couple of rounds. Me and Alex are in jail. <laughs> In the dog shelter. It's not jail. It's doggy jail. All right, it's Nathan's turn. So, <laughs> little cherry face. Go All right. Then. So, what are you gonna do, Nate? First thing you gotta do is move your hunger. Oh, yeah. So your dog is getting a little hungry now. Yeah, you need to get food, boy. And Nathan is down here, close to the dog catcher. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So, what are you gonna do, Nathan? You've got eight action points. Where are you going? Well, you've got to move along the thing, remember? You've got to just jump across. One, wait. You want to go so this way, right? One, two, three, three four, four, five. There's the, you can go into the newspaper. Oh, you want to go pick up my stuff? Yeah. The thing. The problem is you can't... S that's seven to pick one up, eight to pick the other. Oh, seven. Okay, you need to get away from that dog catcher, boy. So just move one space back this way, I think. Okay, one. Yeah. Alright. Um, <laughs> now you get to move the dog catcher. Okay. Roll the dice. You roll three. the three. Oh my god. So backwards? No, no. Yes. So you can go up the way. One, two. There. That's three spaces. Alright, so that's your turn done. Now it's on to mommy's turn. Grain your hunger. Okay, so Bella. What's is Bella gonna do? Going to is go she going to go look for Edward? One, two, <laughs> two. You know what? It's really bad that you made that joke. <laughs> so I'm going to go pick up a newspaper to deliver. Show the camera, um, but don't show me. Okay. So. Wait, don't look. I didn't see. I, didn't see. <laughs> I hope you guys could see that. <laughs> that goes into my mouth. And now I have a destination. What did I say? That was three. <laughs> Is it good to you? <laughs> Four, five, six, uh, seven. Is where I stop. All right. So you get to roll the dice for the so pound the manipulator. Dog catcher. Blimey. <laughs> uh, the dog catcher has a rule. The person who is. Um, Using the dog catcher, he kind of dictates. Like, I can't now turn this around and go backwards. He, he continues a route. So, for instance, uh, where he was ended here, the person could have ended him like that or like that. Okay. Um, specifically, it was ended this way, which means my roll of two goes one, two. Now, of course, I can choose to go this way or that way. I'm going to choose that way. But he stopped right next to me, which means I need to see if I can... If the dog catcher sees me or if I run away. So I flip. 
So where it says dog catcher, I run away. Oh, lucky, so, lucky. I made it. Me and um, Alex weren't so lucky. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I did that. Yes, you did, you little sneaky monkey. <laughs> so now let's see if Jason gets out. All right, so I'm in the in the top part of the, the dog catcher's room. So I flip over one card. So I'm going to aim this at my card so you can see. And I don't get an exit pad. <laughs> so I'm, I skip my turn, basically. So I move down. And then so that he moves into this space, which means next turn he gets to flip two cards. Let's see what Max does. I, I flip one. I don't exit. I flip two. I still don't exit. <laughs> so Max moves down. I've lost three turns. <laughs> Alright, so this goes... Are you, oh, I forgot to do the ambulance at my turn. No, I don't think you do. Alright. Oh, um, okay. I'm not sure, but I, I don't think... I've done one turn I don't think you do the this dog catcher. whole game. Yeah, the dog catcher likes you, Alex. He, he thinks you're a very pretty dog. And he's keeping hold of you for a while. Isn't that right? Mm. Nathan, are you ready to take I'm your ready turn? you do. Yeah. I don't know. I think you guys do do that. I think that's the only action you do. Alright, so you want to do yours, Alex? Roll the dog catcher. Three. One, two, three. The rules do explain that very clearly. I thought the rules were really well laid out. It's just unfortunately we can't remember now. And it'll probably <laughs> take longer to do that than anything else. Alright, Nathan, so this is a problem for you. He's going to move into the zero now. Oh, no. Okay, so what you do your hunger first, so where does it go? You are so hungry you pass out. So the people from the shelter come to fetch you and they look after you. So in you go. <laughs> <laughs> now we're all in there. And you drop your bones, I think. Uh, yes, he does. Unfortunately, I don't remember where he was now. He was there! Thank you. That's right, he was. Gosh. So you can go fetch them when you come out, Yeah, Nathan. you can go fetch them. Don't worry. Calm down. So now I roll up for the dog catcher, Nathan. Roll for the dog catcher. What's over there? This is very unusual, by the way. Yeah. We have played this. This seems extreme. My boys seem to have decided... You don't need that. Um, no, you don't need that. You just need to move the dog catcher. One. One space. One space. Can you do that for me, please? Thank you. Good boy. All right. So, uh, it's back to me, isn't it? Yeah. So what I think I'll do there is we'll stop here and we'll come full another section when we're all out of the pound. Because <laughs> at the moment we're all having a nap. So we'll come back when we're closer to finishing the game. All right. All right. So we're going to do another round of um, gameplay here. It's Nathan's turn again. What are you going to do, Nate? So first thing you're going to do is? I've done my hunger already. Okay. Yeah, because you picked up a lot of food last turn. And you've just delivered a newspaper, so what are you going to do now for your next eight actions? I've delivered two bones already to my grave, my uh, campsite home, and I think Alex is about to deliver two of his. He buried the bones. Jason's not very good at being a dog. <laughs> so what are you doing, Nate? So... You haven't got any bones yet, and you're good at delivering newspapers, and you're good at... Do you want to go pick up a newspaper? Or maybe you can come back here. Food? Or maybe there's a trash can over there that you can search. In fact, there's a trash can over here as well. In fact, there's two right here. Oh, actually, yeah. you want to do the one outside. So you have to come out the door here. So one, two, then three to search a trash can. So show us how what you get. A bone. Oh, a sad no, face. Oh, a sad face. Oh. Uh, one thing we didn't mention as well. You get these little tokens that you put on the trash can spaces. And... Uh, so you can, they can only be searched once per round. But once the last trash can is searched, then everything gets cleared again. Yeah, it, uh, the clearing is called, um, it's like trash day, you know, where the, the, they pick up the trash. So everything gets cleared off and everybody um, ta takes out their rubbish. So Food, so you get more food again. So how many have you done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got one space left. Did you do another? Yeah. Which makes yeah. sense. Um... You can trash get... cans outside um, restaurants, wouldn't they have bones in them? Like bones of chickens and stuff. <laughs> what yeah. about the oh, pizza place has chickens as well? 
You got one more space left, man. Where are you going to go? Do you want to go this way or that way? I think come um, this way towards the newspaper this thing. To the newspaper, huh? Hey, you do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then roll for the dog catcher. See where the dog catcher goes. Daddy, could you move that? Do you want to go that way or that way? This way. So one, two. That's three, Daddy. All right, you'll go. Okay, so Bella finally makes it out of the shelter. Um, so I reset my hunger and I get one piddle token. And I think I'm going to deliver a newspaper. So I'm going to go in there, grab one. So that's two. Where am I going? Um, three, four, five, six, seven. You can move through each other, no problem. But if you stay, if you want to fight someone, you have to stay on this square. Like me and Alex had a big rumble earlier. And what was the outcome, Alex? We tied every time. Yeah. With three hits every time. That's right, because I'm the big daddy. So am I, if I got free as well. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, so I get to move the dog catcher. Four. Could you move that just down the? So one, one two, two, three, four. It's coming for you, Alex. It's coming for you again. That dog catcher likes you. All right, Alex, Jason. All oh. right. So I need to move my hunger up. That's not good. So I'm going to search this trash can that I'm on. So I'll put that there for one action. Come on. I need some food for a change. I do get food. I got one food, which is not great, but it's better than nothing. I'm also looking for one friggin' bone. So, where am I gonna go next? Have you got a bone in your mouth, guy? No, no, you don't. I do not. Leave me alone. So, I'm gonna go there for two. I'm gonna go there for three. And I'm gonna piddle on that thing in case you were going that way. And then I'm gonna go there for four. Oh, no, five actually. So, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm going to search that trash can. And I found more food. Alright, well I'm sorted for food now. Um, where else can I go? I'm not really good at begging, but I'm going to try begging beg anyway. So, six, seven, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to shuffle my deck up. And for my last action, I'm going to beg for some pizza. But hopefully, someone's left a chicken bone in the pizza. And if I got that bone, I can rush. Oh, I might go take. Have you got a bone, Nathan? I might come beat you up and take your bone. No, I don't have any bones. <laughs> and you're not taking mine. Well, you're going to go bury yours now. Yeah. Well, what if the dog catcher gets right. you first? Mm. So I'm begging. Restaurant. Eh, eh. No Too bit. ugly. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> and I'll move the dog catcher Phew. one space no, just right next you. to you, you, <laughs> you yes get... yes you run away <laughs> all right shuffle that deck would you like me to do it no worries I'm done all right so I'm going to move here to three four I to... buried these guys all right, so both Alex and I have two bones buried. So that's five, five to come out. Six, seven, my round. What are you doing? Um, you six. know you're gonna stop right next to the dog catcher, and then I'll have to. No, I. This is seven, so then I can move back eight. Oh, I see. Okay, but the dog catcher is still going in the same direction. I, this so... one's already been searched, yeah. All oh, right. Oh, never mind. Um. He can't go the other way though, because Nathan peed there. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> I, I see what you mean, but like literally. Why can't can I can't I move past that? You can wait inside your house. It's safe in there. But can't I just move past it? You don't have enough movement for that. Yeah, I do. You wait, went. So I was here. So I went one, two. No, I was here. Yeah. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah! <laughs> I'm just where I am. <laughs> Well, You're now safe you, at home. you get to move him now. Five. So now one, move. two, three, four, five. Okay. okay. 
And there we go, that's another full rotation. You Nathan, do you want to take your turn? Okay, okay. so move your hunger. Alex, you didn't move your hunger actually. Oh yeah. Okay. And now you have your eight actions. So are you gonna go fetch a newspaper? Yeah. Okay, so shall I move it for you? Oh. So one in. So pick a newspaper. Don't show us, yeah. Have a peek. You don't look. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I thought... know you. I can see it in your face. <laughs> right, now put it in his mouth. Do you know where to go, Nate? Yeah. One, two. So you've moved two, and you can come out at any one of the blue paws. Oh, it's far away. <laughs> so are we going this way? That way. Okay, so three, three, four, four five. Six, seven, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. There we go. And now you can roll for the ambulance. Dog catcher thing. And the ambulance. Six. Six. Whoa. Right, so where's he going? So one, two, that is he, way. three, four. four. Which way? That way. Five. Five. Six. Six. Okay, that's okay. another good turn. Alright, so we'll finish off this game and we'll come back at the end. Okay. Unless you want to do your turn. Do you want to do your turn? I can do my turn. I don't mind. Right. Right. So, he's coming for me? Yeah. Oh no, he's not. Yes, he is. <laughs> I'm going to hurt. Did you do your hunger? Um, yeah. Sorry. Go down one. So I'm going to go. Have you got any bones yet, Gola? No. But you're still mm -hmm. trying to deliver any swimmer. One, two, three, four. Did I block you off with that fiddle? <laughs> it's really annoying. You ready? Right. So I am going to start by piddling here. For one, then I'm going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the, I'm, I'm going to move the dog catcher. So, could you pass me the dice, please, Lex? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very convenient. One, two. So I'm in the building. If I go, uh, do no, I? You can you can walk past him, but just don't. <laughs> do I check to see if it's a what's the name now? Uh, I think you do. I'm gonna check anyway. No, I you... I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. All right. I don't well, think you check when you're inside the building though. I think it's when you come in past it. We'll come back at the end. Alrighty, so we finished the game, and the winner was Alex Fra. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> um, he did something really clever on his turn me and him were rushing to try and get the final bones and he peed on both sides of my lamppost so I couldn't get in <laughs> into my thing without having to drink some water then replace his pee with my pee and by that point he'd got home to pee over his pee Yes, mark that, the territory. That's right, I had to remark the territory. But while I was faffing about trying to get water and replace his pedal with my pedal, uh, these two got home before me. So Carla came in second. And where did you come, Nathan? Third! <laughs> so I came last. And that is a game of um, a dog's life. Who makes this actually? Is there a company name? Yeah, uh, well, the. the um in the corner there, Christ Christopher. Yeah, this is bo the bonnet, but what's the oh, company's right. name? I don't know. I don't I think. I've forgotten where it was. Anyway, so did you guys like this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the other game you like by this? Well, um, the guy who made this game made Archipelago, who I really like a lot. But you don't even have the game. No, Martin's got the game, so I play his copy all the time. And what's the other one? I'm pretty sure you said beaten one. games. Is it beaten games? <laughs> Uh, he also makes Dungeon Twister, I think, mm. which is really good as well. The pieces in this game look really good. These dogs are nice, aren't they, Nathan? Yeah. No, I like the model. I wonder how long it took and how... You know, 
if you got like the grey painted grey version of model, you could paint this. To be fair, um, taking it from the perspective of uh, a board game piece, I think it's quite uh, interesting. Um, they are just kids' toys essentially, but it's a very nice novel way of using it, and it's actually quite fun to see the kind of painted figures. I think for those that uh, just enjoy having um, a painted figure on the board, Hello. I think they serve perfectly well. But Hello. for those like uh, ourselves, we could repaint these, um, you know, a little bit better than the kind of shop standard. And well, in fact, I say that I'm probably going to do that. So. <laughs> What's your favourite part about this game, Nathan? Um, I'm being fed. <laughs> <laughs> no, what part of the game do you like? What, uh, it's your favourite bit. Do you like fetching the uh, looking through the trash cans? Which one's your favourite dog? Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. So yeah. This one. Yeah. What's your favourite bit when you do when you're playing the game? What's the favourite? Uh, what's your favourite action? Um. Mm, How about you, Alex? What? Delivering Nathan's? newspapers. You like delivering the newspapers? Yeah. Buddy's really good at that. You got a lot of bones from doing that with Buddy. How about you, Alex? Um, I don't know. I like the mechanics of the game. I don't really have a favorite action though. Who's your favorite dog? Is it Max? Because you always use Max. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the big daddy though? Me. Um, Romeo is. <laughs> no. Right, let's flip it. Let's just right. see. Flip one one card to see who's gonna win the fight. Go. I got a two. I got a. Wow! <laughs> there you go. So that proves that, yeah. Mm. Oh, the next card was a two as well. <laughs> All right. Well, there's our play of, or have a looking at a dog's life. Um, if you like it, go check it out on Kickstarter. I'll put the link below in the show notes below. Um, you can click on the link to take it to the, the actual Kickstarter when it goes live, which I think is August the eighth, two thousand and seventeen. Um, and I'm sure they will appreciate your support. And uh, if you want to feel what it, know what it feels like to be a dog, and have some great little pieces, um, little on lampposts, yeah, and, uh, scratch through trash cans and beg at restaurants, <laughs> that, and beat each other, yeah. <laughs> then please go have a look. Well, thanks for watching our video, and uh, please feel free to subscribe and like and all the good stuff. And say good night, boys. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Take it out, Carla.